I grew up meeting people coming from Europe, mm -hmm. but they are from here and they come here for the summer. And the first thing they do sometimes is that why you're not wearing a Jalebo? Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> Adidas is my collective memory. Yeah. I grew up with Adidas. Marrakesh, Morocco is home to just over a million people, but acquires over three million visitors a year. It's known for its five-star hotels, delicious restaurants, charming riads, and the famous Jim El Finna Square. But what do we really know about the complex identity of the Moroccan people? As the youth gravitate towards modernity, the West appears to expect the traditional concepts that's been sold for decades to never change. So what does the future look like for a generation working towards a new Morocco? I've come to Marrakesh during Ramadan, when the streets are a little quiet during the day, but still come alive at night. I meet with creative Yuzi Bazaz, so he can tell me more about his Morocco. Something that's really interesting and I can relate to is being like Sudanese or being Irish or being Scottish is that like, I always feel like that's part of my badge of honor. Yeah. But what's really annoying about it is like, I would rather people just look at my work and be like, she's good, it doesn't matter if she's yeah. black, brown or blue. Like, she's just good at what she does. Yeah. For young Moroccans here, I don't, you could correct me if I'm wrong, feel like they, I feel like they have to do that same thing where they're like, I'm Moroccan. Yeah. And like, this is who I am. When it comes to the music, the idea of a Moroccan artist succeeding outside of Morocco, in the music, you have to hear Morocco. Right. In For the musical production, you have to hear Morocco. The vocals, you need to hear Morocco, a sample. And it's like, it doesn't you have to be to like that. that. Just, just express yourself. The weird thing about Morocco is I've always felt like people come here because it's a tourist trap, right? Yeah. You get exactly what you're getting. You get the soups, you get the bazaars, you get the tea. And I always felt like there must be more than basically the Medina. Yeah. For us here in Morocco, here in Marrakesh, I agree it is quite a tourist trap. Uh, but at the end of the day, we're not that much affected by it because we're here okay. for the long term. Yazid suggests I meet Hassan Hajjaj and photographer Ismail Zaidi. Hassan is one of Morocco's most famous artists. I meet him at his new concept store and cafe, Jaja. Ismail, you said in an article that I read that you felt there was quite a, it's a soft tension, but there's a tension between being modern and being traditional. Can you explain to me what that tension is? I don't know how to do it, but I don't know how to do it. 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 If somebody goes to the Sahara to take a picture of, uh, of, uh, of the people there, of the Sahara people, when you get there, that, though that person who's taking pictures is their work, but actually that work is already set up for you because they already have that. We need to understand our value within our culture, you know, because we have, it's in front of us. But there's always that kind of thing where people still want to hold on to the culture, not letting go of that. And I think when this meets together and there's a nice balance, it's a beautiful balance, you know, uh, because uh, it's not we don't want to be modernised and stuff like that. The world changes. There's two things. There's a tourist trap that comes on holiday and gets trapped. But then there's interesting people that come get trapped by Marrakesh, by the energy of it, by the light, by the tradition. And I call those different people from the tourists. They're the people that probably uh, creative people that end up staying longer or taking interest. So there's definitely that. And, you know, Mar Marrakesh, Historically, it's an old Medina, it's an old city. You have like the Medina, which I call it the heart of Marrakesh, and you have the new town, which is Gilles, and there's grain more outside. Uh, so it has different layers within this with people, tradition, the way they wear and stuff like that. And the Medina will always be, has a soul about it. Yeah, it still has that, hold that tradition. That's the, the beauty about it. You can come and you can really feel like it's a thousand years old or you can be like sort of in the future, yeah. in the same second, you know, an electric car and a donkey. After speaking to Yazid, Ismail and Hassan, it's clear that there is a way of marrying tradition and modernity respectively and still creating something new. However, as always the challenges for women are greater, so I wanted to speak to some brilliant female creatives on the ground. Just before breaking our fast, I decided to bring together three successful Moroccan women to ask them about their challenges and what inspires them. Manal Ben Shlaka is a famous Moroccan singer and songwriter, Sophia Goodson, a fashion pioneer, and Rani Amalek, a multidisciplinary creative. When I first tried rapping, I did it because I, I found it was like challenging for me as an artist and I, I, I really wanted to, to try and, and see what it would be and how like my fans and how like people would, would see it. Yes. For a woman, it's hard because you're always judged. Uh, you can say, if, if uh, like a rapper says a word, 
it's fine. But oh, if yeah. I say the same word, like it's the I'll it's a catastrophe. Yeah, it's <laughs> a catastrophe. Yeah. I think I'm still trying to discover what it is to be a Moroccan woman. Yeah. But obviously, like with my mother and my auntie and growing up around them, my aunts would always say. Uh, uh, Mara'onos, which means a woman Mara'onos. and a half. Yes. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like Mara'onos. I love that. So, I mean, obviously, growing up seeing them, they take care of the family, and there's like so many and cousins. Do with the and the Mara'onos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't, you have to emphasize yeah. yeah, they really, like uh, Rangu was saying, that. they really are the backbone of, of society yeah. and of the household, and everything. they just do everything, Every, literally. Over the past few days, Yazid has been telling me about Mubala, a self taught ultra contemporary artist who has a beautiful poetic outlook on the past and present of Morocco. In everywhere in the world, you know, every nation is, is, is a poetical salad, you know, is mixed. Mm. If you take a history of each country, the, even here in Morocco, you cannot say there is one Moroccan, even in England, you know. Admittedly, I've always come to Marrakesh for the same thing as all the other tourists. But being here for merely a week has opened my eyes to the complexity of the perception of the city. Beyond the tourist sites and the visual trappings of the Medina, there's a world of powerful creatives keen to be seen and heard. The authenticity and tradition can sometimes create a trap, as it doesn't allow you to move forward. And if we go off the beaten track, there's a Morocco that's still untouched and yet to be understood and seen. And perhaps, modernity and tradition don't have to be seen as complete opposites, but rather a way to elevate a culture while still keeping its roots at the core.